I think another side character that's interesting is Yoda. I mean, you have um, he's this master who's been around for 900 years. He's watched so much change since his like since he was just a knight or a youngling in the temple, and now he's grandmaster, and he is like he is trying to figure out how do I handle this shift? Like, what am I supposed to do with this? I, I, he's starting to have trouble like meditating and seeing things clearly. Like he doesn't know who the, the Sith Lord is. He doesn't know what's going on with the Chancellor. Right. Um, he is concerned about keeping peace with the galaxy with the Jedi Knights that he has at his disposal while also making sure that he carries on this tradition. Um, and Anakin, you have that scene when Anakin goes to meet with him and Yoda's like genuinely disturbed. Like he's trying to figure out how to help Anakin. And even get this in one and two where Yoda's like, I don't like he he knows Anakin is the chosen one. Like Yoda doesn't have any doubts about that. Mace Windu expresses doubt, Yoda doesn't. But Yoda well, he, does, uh, he does have that line where he goes like uh, a a prophecy which might have been misinterpreted, more or less. Right when Obi was like, "Well, he is the chosen one, isn't he?" So doesn't that doesn't that indicate doubt on on Yoda's side? It's more like his doubt is that it's like the whole. I, I don't want to compare. I hate like the comparison to Jesus, but it's similar in that like their view of who Jesus would be was a lot different than who he was. And so while he still fulfilled the prophecy, it wasn't in the way that they expected. And it's like the expectation for, I'm trying to be serious here. I know, yeah, I know. I just like that. And, and that is where the comparison ends right there. Yes, but yes. Just keep going, but keep going. Anakin's whole character, like the expectation for the Chosen One was he's just going to be this awesome, powerful Jedi who's going right. to take on the forces of evil, head like just head on and kill them. Mm -hmm. But no, I mean, he still fulfills the prophecy until you get seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. It's not in the way that people expected. And so it's like Yoda is sitting here in three, and I think his whole thing about like how it's misinterpreted is like he's starting to doubt like how is this all going to unfold? Are we actually going to live through this? Like mm -hmm. what what is what is this person Anakin? What is he going to go through? Because Yoda definitely empathizes with who Anakin's character is. Like he's seen so many different people throughout his life, and he he even though. He, Anakin doesn't really interact with Yoda on a large scale. There are some arcs in the Clone Wars where he does, and even like in Star Wars, there's the movies. Like Yoda is very much like it's almost like Yoda is emotionally distant. It's like he can't really feel like emotions, but he understands that he needs like Anakin needs things that can't be given to him. By the order, and he doesn't know how to handle this because remember, Yoda grew up in an organization where emotions were shunned. You were brought in at birth, and you didn't have to handle that. And so, Anakin is this wild card. He's like, this is someone who experiences emotions and all the things that normal people handle, mm -hmm. and yet he's the chosen one. So we have to have him here. But I don't know how to have him here, mm -hmm. and so. Like, he's very much this character who's, like, and I think that's what's interesting about his character, is all the Jedi are in the dark, but Yoda recognizes he's in the dark, and that terrifies him more than anything, but I think because of that, it means he is mo best capable of responding to what happens in uh, the later half of the movie. You mean when he fights Palpatine and all that? His character is very much like, I don't know what's happening, and he's just, like, waiting for something to unfold. And then it unfolds, and he's like, okay, I knew something was going to happen. Now I'm responding to it. And so um, his character very much shifts once once all this stuff goes down, where he's like, this is what this is what was clouding my judgment. This is what I was unsure of. Um, and and so this is what we need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, especially – and you see that maybe because he has that that – cautiousness that he's actually aware of more of what's going on so that when order 66 occurs later on in the movie he knows he's ready and he actually survives that encounter whereas yeah. other people didn't know. 